guys, it's Alex. I'm here with Kimball today, hey. and this is going to be my homecoming vlog. It is October 5th today. The first thing we're going to do is get our nails done. Yeah. In my Week of My Life video, I showed me getting these ones done, but that was a long time ago. My dress is red, so I'm going to try and, like, match something, like, to that. It's like the color of shirt. That's why I wore this shirt. Hey, guys, we are back from the nail salon. So first, let's see if <clears throat> Kimball's nails. So these are color-changing nails. They change with, like, temperature. So if you put it in, like, cold water... It turns red, red. Right? Yeah, it like redder. Red. And then when it's hot, it becomes like more like yellow, light orange. So it's a very good fall look. And then my nails, I got these. Yeah, these are the nails that I got. I got like a kind of a glitter ombre with like the red that matches my dress. We ate lunch and now I'm going to drop her off and then I'm gonna head yeah. home. I will see you guys in a bit. Okay guys, so it is a while later now. It's like 3.35. I'm going to be leaving here around 4.15ish. So, to go to dinner tonight. So, I need to do my makeup and my hair. My dress is sitting right back there. I don't know why this is on the front of the foundation. But I'm using the Makeup Forever foundation. Same one I used last year. I never really wear foundation or like any makeup. But for homecoming, I like to. I'm really excited for homecoming. It's my third homecoming. And I enjoy it every year. So I know I'm gonna have lots of fun. So I'm gonna do this foundation and then I'm gonna do like some, like a natural, like shimmery um, eye makeup look. And then just put on some mascara with that. Nothing too crazy. Okay, it looks a lot better. It's not perfect, but like it's definitely a step in the right direction. I think we are good on foundation. I think I need to get highlighter and powder from my mom. So I'm gonna go grab that because I don't own that. Okay, so I got the powder highlighter. This highlighter is really faded and I can't read what the title is, but it's by the brand Essence of Beauty. I just had PTSD to my last homecoming vlog in which I totally dumped out this other highlighter. It's in the shade Rose Gold. Such <gasps> such <gasps> no. This one just the lid fell off, so that's good. You would have thought I learned, but no. The powder is in the shade um W3. So I'm gonna do some of that. Once again, don't really know what I'm doing here. Okay, I think that's good for powder. I don't even see a difference, but like, I'm probably offending the whole beauty communi community right now. For highlighter, I usually just like get some in my finger and then like, <laughs> my methods are probably so horrible. There's probably a way better way to do this. My cap tan and goggle tan are just definitely still there, but it's okay. This blush is Laura Geller, Gelle, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's in the shade Tropic Hues. It just looks really pretty. This brush is for blush. Oh, it says it's a stippler brush. I don't know what that means, but it's pink. So that means I've used it for blush before. I should just stop talking about my lack of makeup knowledge and try and make it look like I know what I'm doing. And now for the eye makeup my favorite part so i have this morphe palette that my lovely good friend mia decided to give to me and it's in the it's the 350 one and it's just really pretty all these like nude shades look at me being such a beauty guru okay i'll stop this brush looks good enough okay this is for angle shader okay i like i can see that i've used this shade before which must have mean it's pretty good. So I feel like you should either should use that one or this one. I don't think I'll just go with what I've done before. It looks a little shimmery, but I feel like I kind of want it to be a little darker. Mm, maybe I'll regret that. Maybe I should just leave it. I don't even know. Uh, maybe, maybe, okay, I don't even know if that even did anything or if I'm just like, you can't even like see it on camera. I'm so bad at this. 
Okay, why does that side look so much better? Okay, as long as the end result looks fine, it doesn't really matter what the steps in between look like. So we are going to dinner tonight, and we're gonna do, well, we're doing photos before dinner. And I am, oh, that is not blended. This is why I don't do makeup. Okay. Okay, I think it's pretty decent. We're just gonna let that be. Now we're gonna do mascara. Mascara is like the one thing that I know how to do. I use the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Mascara, and this is waterproof. Please don't screw up, because then you have to redo the whole thing. I'm sure this is really entertaining and not at all boring. Um, if you haven't seen my homecoming vlog from last year, I really suggest you go check it out. It actually looks kind of good. Wait. We all meet up. That's when I get more content, because have more people in my vlog and that'll be fun and i'll like insert a lot of photos from when we're there i'm not gonna vlog at the actual dance i didn't do this last year either just because i want to like be able to like enjoy myself and not think like and not be thinking about where my camera is or like filming while i'm there so won't be filming while i'm there but i will film every part leading up to it and then i'll probably talk to you guys after the dance to let you know how it went so that's my mascara. Looks pretty good. Okay. Now, is that everything? No, lips, lips. This foundation is definitely like, should be a little darker to match my skin tone. My face looks, actually it's pretty, it's kind of decent. I don't really know what I'm saying. I just keep contradicting like every other statement I say. That's red. We do not want, oh wait, I'm wearing, I'm wearing a red dress, but do I want, I think we're gonna pass on red lips. That might be a little too out there. This is the Lorac Alter Ego Lip Gloss in the shade Duchess. It's gonna come off when I eat anyway, so. Doesn't really matter. I feel like in the past I've always cared way more about how I look than I do this year. And honestly, don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. So I'm doing my hair the same way I do it every year. Which is about to show you. It does not require very much effort, which is great for a girl like me that doesn't know what the heck she's doing. Okay, so I usually my hair's parted in about the right spot. We're gonna get a little more to this side. I did this freshman year and sophomore year. And it looks great both times. You're just gonna need one of these little clear elastics. They're like the ones you use to make rainbow loom bracelets with. That's literally where I get these from. I just have a whole box full of them. So it's really convenient. So what you're gonna do is pull your hair to the side. I don't remember if I straightened my hair before I did this last year, but my hair's straight enough. So we're just gonna leave it as is. And you're gonna bring it all to the side you want it on. I do it on my right side. And then you're gonna take your hair and make sure in the back it's not like puffing out because sometimes I don't want to do that. Okay, that's pretty good. And then you're gonna take your elastic And you're gonna make a little ponytail. So we have this little ponytail here and you're like, Alex, you look like you're in seventh grade still, but I'm not done. You have your ponytail there, but then you're gonna kind of like break it apart a little, like a little opening right there. Then you're gonna take this hair and you're gonna put it through that hole, loop it around so then it makes this little really cool wavy thing. And then you just tighten it back up. And there you go. It looks fabulous. And then what I like to do is pull out a strand in the front right there. And then this one's already trying to come out. So you just pull it down and you're good to go. That was actually really great. Was not expecting it to go that well. Last year I really struggled with this. Yeah, so that's my look. I'll show you guys what the hair looks like from like back here. Now I'm gonna put on my dress and I will see you guys in a second. Wait, should I do the transition thing? Okay, one, two, three. Okay, so this is my dress. 
so I added these earrings to it. Got it from Macy's. I love it. And then this is what it looks like in the back. I don't know if you can, yeah. We're at dinner right now. I'm gonna pass the camera around the table and everyone can say hi. Oh. Hi. Wait, pass hi. It no, wait, no. <laughs> hi. Hey. Okay, so we just finished eating. I had a burger. So what did everyone have? No, we're <laughs> we had food. So we just finished eating. <laughs> So we're about to take pictures. We're like all done eating. So yeah, we're gonna take photos by the lake. Hey guys, we took more photos. We're gonna go to the dance now. I really can't stay. I've got to go away. Okay, so today. We are going to the beach. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh. Don't want a lot for Christmas. How do I zoom in? Oh my god, Alex. Alex has has just thrown me into the back seat because she is going to get her driver's license revoked. So that's sorry, mom. Yeah. Yeah. Hey Miss Boynton, if you're watching this, you should not let your daughter drive. Okay. But at least I'm going under the speed limit. Oh yes. She is going over wait. You're, did you just say you're going over? I'm going, okay, 30 Oh, yes. Okay, she's obeying the speed limit. See my baby standing right outside my door. We're gonna go to the dance. I'll see you after. Bye. Bye. Hello. The dance is now over. <laughs> it is 11:13. I am dead. The dance is like really fun. Our DJ was kind of bad, but like it's fine. Oh yeah, we have to wear wristbands that say "Students Against Dirty Dancing," and if you get your wristband taken away, you don't get a spirit day. Really fun time tonight, hanging out with everyone before, and I'm gonna insert some pictures. I don't know if I'm gonna insert it here, like earlier in the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this homecoming vlog and I'll see you next week. Bye!